Welcome in, folks, here on the Believe in FCS Football Podcast, part of the Believe Podcast Network. I'm Joe DeLeon, joined by my former teammate, former roommate at the University of Rhode Island, Mr. Sean Anderson, who is upset at me for not acknowledging his recent haircut, despite him wearing a pair of headphones and not having a properly lit bedroom where I can actually see. That you know, got you, a you talk a lot of trash about, you know, you not wanting to talk about my lighting situation. I don't know, every show. And then you bring it up every show. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. do you want to talk about it or do you not want to talk about it? We, we do talk about it. We talk about it too much. Because you still won't fix it. But you you're dancing around. New glasses, we're, we're, but I've, I've given up on that. I, I got new glasses. What are you talking about? I got these different six ones months, six months ago. So these are yeah, I've been, I've been I've been I've been I have been against those glasses for six months. I get I haven't been way talking more. About I get I got no compliments for the old boxy ugly glasses. You I shouldn't get have those were so all many compliments for these glasses. I don't agree. So many compliments. Not for me. Well, you're much more negative and you don't like to see me blossom and shine uh, speaking about not like to see someone blossom uh thank you everybody on twitter today for acknowledging all of the great humor i was bringing on that <laughs> on, on the last show that we did there was, was like one person who no agreed with you. no no no, no. people kwame like agree with me people like that pat no kwame agree with me he said that you shouldn't have told told uh your, your other girlfriend he still, about agree, that. he still agreed with me about the the, the tyler cheek thing though that that's also, just Tyler a reminder in case you in, in case you missed the episode. By in the case way. you missed the last episode, Joe thought a, a P one listener of the show is twelve years old. And you're uh, still just, doing you know, it. It's just because, just in case somebody likes the previews instead of the recaps. I hate you. Yeah, that's sure. I, I'm sure you do. I hate sure. those glasses. Okay. I stink. Well. A lot of girls like them, and that's all that matters. Oh, 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 oh really? <laughs> Hide your daughters when we go to South Dakota. <laughs> right, that, that's what it is. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> are we going to be hanging out with dads at South Dakota? I, I think we are. I think we are. We need to. We're going to hang out with the with the um, with the book club. I think Hold on, what... I'm getting a call from B. Stocking or Jones. I'm going to take this and tell them I'm doing a show, if you don't mind. Who is this? Uh... Hello? Oh, my God. We're doing this bit. I'm doing a show. Thank you. Was that a, was that a robocall? Was that a I'm scam sure call? I'm sure it was. Okay. I'm sure it was. Did they understand what that what that meant? They didn't get a chance. I, uh, who they had... Don't get any respect. Who had show on their show opener, Bingo, um, haircuts lighting and then also uh well lighting call. is basically a free pass that's, and, that's, that's free that, square. yeah that's the the middle square that's the middle square is is uh lighting and then um so we had we had haircut we had phone call and we had glasses so did anyone have those on i mean today's bingo who won it's a pretty good one yeah that's a, a pretty, a pretty solid bingo I, I i wouldn't mind seeing what a listener th- uh based bingo of the show would be during the duration of it I feel like that would be a fun experiment, and I don't think that would be a hard uh, de- gra- graphic to make up, would it? No, not I don't for you, because I know you could do it, but, you know. I it, choose not to, though. If there was a listener that, that had the, the creativity to, to make up a, a I did have a listener that offered to do graphic stuff for us. I oh. completely forgot that they offered. That was a while ago. Let's think, see what we I... can get done. I'll ask him. Um, all right, so, Sean, today we've got a big matchup between SIU and Northern Iowa, a big battle between two teams that need to uh, continue their reign of dominance. You and I needs to really prove themselves if they want to make the playoffs. And then SIU wants to remain as the top dog and prove that they deserve to be the number one team in the country, depending on what poll uh, you're looking at. So Sean, before we get to that though, can you just tell our, our listeners about bet online? I'd love to. And, uh, you know, these these re- reads bring me a lot of joy. You know what else does? A Werther's original. So I think I'm going to combine the two. So this should be a really fun uh, audio experience for everybody. Oh, that's a good Werther's orig- original right there. Bet online. Still sticking with the show for whatever reason. We're back and better than ever. A new web interface for the start of the basketball season and more props, odds, and lines than ever before. It's just a smooth texture of the Warriors. I think I really like. You know, the yeah. caramel is, is what is what it is. Um, Bet online remains your number one spot for all the basketball and football action this season. Head to the new updated desktop or mobile website to sign up today and receive your fifty percent welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code Believe Fifty to receive your bonus. 
Joe, you looking at any action on the World Series? Any favorites? You watching uh, any games? No, I'm not going to watch any of them. Great. So uh, <laughs> aside from that, <laughs> there's basketball, football, uh, baseball postseason, obviously. Lost a bet on the Astros money line uh, last night. So that's that's a, that's a big uh, big bet that I put in. Didn't win it, but I'm going to keep on betting because it's fun. And I like watching uh, sports, and I like having a little more action on the sports. Makes me feel a little more involved. NHL is back, and we got a lot of fans from the, the north and the Midwest, big hockey uh, areas up there. We also have boxing and UFC right to your favorite Vegas casino games. Don't wait to take advantage of all the amazing offers available for the 2021 season. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite sports. Bet online where the game starts. Thank you, Sean, for that. So this week's UWU game of the week, as we mentioned, is SIU versus Northern Iowa. I believe it's the only ranked on ranked matchup that we have this weekend. So this is going to be our primary focus. But Sean, the the importance of this game, and I alluded to it, SIU right now has been one of the teams thrown into the conversation as the number one team in the country uh, because of their their big major wins that they've had so far. They beat South Dakota State. But at the same time, Northern Iowa comes along. They beat South Dakota State as well. They have got three losses, one of them being to an FBS school, the other two against, I think it was North Dakota State, and then the um, the other one, if it would load, who would freaking load, but it won't. Uh, but, 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 but South Dakota was the other one. So two Silicon Valley teams. over there. Yeah, Silicon Valley over here. Technology works really well in Los <laughs> Angeles. Regardless, two losses that aren't really that bad, but they're not great to have three losses when you're looking at the end of the season. This is this game has a ton of importance for both squads, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, which is that SIU wants to remain the top team and really prove and separate themselves, while Northern Iowa wants to say, hey, we can still swing with the with the big dogs and we deserve to be in the conversation as maybe a seeded team. Maybe, Joe, maybe they are they're doing okay. They're not doing great. They are what I would say scraping by they, so far. They they have had a couple quality wins, but for the most part, if you're looking at you and I versus a majority of the ranked teams, how many of those games would you take them as a favorite? Or be confident, oh, you, you and I's got this in the bag. And I'm not talking about like the, you know, no disrespect, but the the triple option teams, you know, the teams that are, are solely focused on a bit. And that's the wrong term for it. It's obviously a scheme, but yeah, w- weird word. Uses but there. regardless, if you have a, just a, a team that is sole scheme heavy and you can prep for it, I'm not counting those teams. I'm talking about the most well-rounded uh, teams in the top 25. How many of those would you take uh, you and I over confidently? Over 12, under 12. Over? You think you and I would beat... Wait, I'm, I'm confused by the phrasing of it. Repeat it. Would you, do you think that you and I could beat a majority of the top 25 teams with confidence? Not with confidence. Uh, I would say I would say half. Like, less than half. Yeah, I would say less than half, too. SIU, I'd say 20. I'd say 20 with confidence. I think they could beat. So, I'm looking at it like, ugh. It, it, that, that's just how I am observing this game. I, I think it's going to be it probably won't be the best game but it's the most intriguing because it is two ranked uh two ranked opponents and you and i just had a big win last week so you look at it you're like all right they just beat south dakota state and you're gonna take that with i have to take that with a grain of salt and say all right south dakota state just didn't show up to play and that's how i'm gonna observe that game it's not looking great for me for you and i i think siu is gonna roll them and i think it's just going to be I don't think it's going to be that close. And maybe this is the Sean Anderson jinx that's going to take place, but I can't I can't put too much stock in this. Yeah, the the one thing that about this this matchup's intriguing and I always get a kick out of when we have games like this because it, it becomes so difficult to really predict what the score can be and what the uh what the outcome could be in these circumstances where you've got you and I who statistically one of the best defenses in the country they've got a a really well-rounded group that features a a ton of big names like tim butcher jared brinkman has been really good this year and we knew that he was fantastic coming into the season but they're going up against an siu squad that has been averaging close to 40 points a game Uh, we know that nick baker has been fantastic he is a small compact quarterback that is doesn't I'm not going to just be lazy and say it's Kyler Murray type vibes, but 
he's hard to take down. He's hard to corral because he's on the smaller side. And his passer rating has been stupid this year. He's at 160 right now is his quarterback rating. Hmm. I put a lot of their success on the stuff that he's been able to do as well as their run game. So when you have this collision of top defense, top offense, it's really perplexing on like, okay, who wins in this matchup? But I think that just based on the momentum right now and the fact that the wins that SIU has had, all of which, all of their wins beating out every single FCS team that they've played, I'm leaning towards SIU in this one because I think that they've had a lot more cohesion offensively. Now, I wouldn't take anything away from you and I. They're turning the ball over just fine. They have 11 picks on the season, which is something that I would expect them to do again. They're averaging at least an interception a game. That's a very strong trait for this team. Uh, they got guys that know how to tackle. It's it's always a disciplined team, but they have no electricity when I see them. SIU looks like an unstoppable force, and I don't think you and I is an immovable object. I I, I think it's going to be a lot more lopsided than it, it being let on, and maybe that's not entertaining radio for everybody. But I, I would see, I could see, I, pretty easily, I could see it go thirty five to ten SIU win. But I also would be as a fan rooting for, I don't know, 27, 24 for whoever make, make it interesting. You know, I know in the last show we complained about how these teams are making it hard for us to determine who the number one is and how the top 25 is going to be rounded out. But as a fan that you're kind of like, wow, I kind of enjoy the chaos. Let the, let the big brains down in Washington, make all the decisions. Ain't that right, Joe? I don't, I don't know what that that's supposed to be a reference to, but the, the other thing that I'm kind of looking a little bit further here is that we've, we, I, I don't need your mumbling. What did you? Ha- what do you have to say? What do you have to say? Say it. You could have just rolled on and not said, "I don't know what that's supposed to mean." <laughs> you could have well, just moved on say, through. When you say stupid shit, I'm gonna be like, "If I it don't bombs, know it bombs," <laughs> and I'm fine sitting in it. But that wasn't like a bomb. Okay, it wasn't a bomb. I'll admit, but it was. It was just fodder. It was filler. That's what so it was. So Sean, doing my oh, investigative yeah, analysis. Move it along. Though. Move it along. <laughs> I'm not gonna get distracted by your nonsense. Uh, so doing some investigative analysis, though, I'm looking a little bit deeper here at SIU's performances against top teams. So okay. South Dakota State, that that big win that they had, we spent the whole beginning of the season talking about how South Dakota State had an elite defense, one of the best in the country, and it got exposed 42 to 41. They gave up 42 points in that game. North Dakota, a team that we, we described as just hard nosed, they gave up 31 points. Conversely, you and I, the 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 one that stands out to me the most, actually the two that stand out to me the most, is that North Dakota State and South Dakota, those two losses, those are not prolific offenses. Those are quality offenses, but not like the points that they allowed. They allowed 34 points in both of those games to offenses that are not take your top off, completely blow you up. Those are more run-oriented teams, very run-oriented teams. So that is very telling to me. I am not looking at the overall record, the overall statistic of uh, of how they do defensively over the entirety of the year. How do they perform in the matchups where they need to be the best, especially against the run? And it is clear that SIU steps up to the challenge. Their offense steps up to the challenge for them to be productive in these difficult defensive matchups. And at the same time, you and I doesn't really step up. They take a step back and they're dominated to an extent. Uh, dominated might be a little bit aggressive, but they still are not as strong as they look against some of these weaker opponents. So give me Nick Baker, give me Donovan Spencer in this game. Uh, and then like they, they've got a plethora of other plethora. running backs that are in the mix. P- plethora is one of my favorite words. Yeah, uh, Justin really strong, Javon Williams, Jr. There are a lot of guys in the those. mix here. I don't know if they're all entirely available, but they've got a lot of guys in the mix here that are productive that they can turn to. And that's why their their offense is, is is moving so well. I think you and I supporters take a lot of stock in only losing to Iowa State by one score. Uh, and you can. I know a lot of, but a lot of FBS programs come out week one pretty flat. And you and I, it, it, you're playing the pretty good FBS school. But um, I, I, I like your point in just taking it over into the conference, not the overall record. The uh, the North Dakota State loss, not as telling to me. The South Dakota State loss, a little more telling to me because I think they're a little more uh, close together how it comes in uh, just true talent on the team and how they're going to shape up at the end of the season. They'll definitely be closer than uh, even if you and I goes on a tear, you know, say they close out, you know, three and one. South Dakota, South Dakota could do the same. I think they're pretty mm-hmm. parallel opposed to 
going North Dakota State versus uh, you and I. Right, right. So this is going to be a really, really big matchup this weekend, uh, justifiably our uwu game of the week. Nothing else really comes in comparison, but th this one is going to be very, very critical to the outcome of the season. Um, you really could see you and I sneak one out here and 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 surprise SIU, which they've they've had a tendency to do. They keep they keep doing it, where they keep squeaking out these mm -hmm. unexpected victories that we just continue to write write them off. Maybe that's our jinx right now, Sean. Is that uh, we're we're just going to jinx them because we're hyping up SIU hey, right here. Hey, buddy, I'm not in the business of hot takes over here. Right? <laughs> I'm the, that's that's all you. I'm in the business of calling people hacks. That's what I'm in the business of. If you want to be hot take, Joe talking about oh you and i's really got a shot you and i's really got a shot you can be hot take joe that's fine that's fine that's not that's not me i'm here to just provide a little bit of analysis say you know you and i is pretty good in the trenches but so is siu and they just they're just too explosive also so i look at the point differentials i look at the average points per game you and i uh, you and i is getting like 27 siu is in the mid 30s that's telling to me it just is mm -hmm. and they're gonna car i almost feel myself going too hot towards SIU. So I'm going to try to temper myself down and say I am just simply confident in SIU in this matchup. Okay, let's uh let's get to picking some of these games as we usually do. So just a quick recap of last week and I'm still oh. not giving you a pass for picking against your own school. Why does that that be a quick you. recap. Um mm, you just... went 9 for 10, I went 7 Ooh. for 10. It is 76% to 69%. So we sit where we're at. Sit in it. Just, okay. just fill it up. When, Go you know, ahead. Just fill Go the ahead. tub. Fill I have to. Tub. I don't have time okay. for this because Let I have to my... now deal with a parking uh, ticket issue that apparently I paid, but now they're telling me is delinquent. So let's uh, let's get to these game picks. Well, no, if, Joe. If you will. I, I have to get my Joe tier bath salts. I have of, to make a I... phone call before five o'clock. You dick. <laughs> well, what time is it there? It's four oh. o'clock here. Oh, uh, oh no! Then I have plenty of time to sit no, here with no, my Joe bath salts. Have, his, don't. his solidified tears in the saltiness. I have I, to make a phone call. I have to make a phone call. Ah, <laughs> uh, you are delinquent. I tell you what, you are a uh, a fool and a boob, letting me crawl back in this thing. Right now, I'm sitting at 57 for 82 on the season. Joe sitting at 62 for 82. Uh, I'm at 69 percent. Joe's at 76 percent. So I'm just going to keep on crawling back up. And now I'm going to take the stick because Joe is, <laughs> he's got some stuff to deal with. <laughs> uh, a lot of good matchups this week, but not a ton, obviously, uh, granted with our Ooh Game of the Week selection. Uh, but we do have some good in-conference matchups, and I would like to run through them. Joseph, if you are ready, I will start reading off some teams. Sorry, uh, let me let me take it from here. Uh, I will I will pick it up. Sorry, I very is, upset that I, my I dad could... decided to text me. Just let me do it. Just let me do it. I'm bad with my dad's texting me about this right now. It's completely distracting. Uh, William and Mary Villanova. A job I could have done. Just uh, just go <laughs> Villanova. Uh, I'm gonna take Villanova as well. Monmouth, North, Carol North Carolina A and T. <laughs> Monmouth. Uh, I'm taking Monmouth <laughs> as well. Furman Chattanooga. <laughs> Nervous about this one, but I'm taking the chat. Uh, I'm taking Furman. Uh, I think that they've they've been somewhat strong all year. Uh, even though Chattanooga has had some had some good wins. Sanford VMI, VMI. I'm taking VMI as well. Central Arkansas, Jacksonville State. This is a risk for me. I'm taking UCA. Ooh, now give me the Gamecocks. Give me Jacksonville State. South Dakota State, Youngstown State. South Dakota State, Jackrabbits bounce back. Uh, I'm going to roll with yeah, yeah. No, give me South Dakota State. Jackrabbits are definitely bouncing back. North Dakota, Missouri State. <laughs> Missouri State wins. Uh, I'm gonna stick with Missouri State as well. Uh, North Dakota has been underwhelming so far. <laughs> now here comes the fun one. Wait, remind me. Por Portland State's the one that we've been doing the yes, bid on, right? Yes. Okay, so Cal Poly, Portland it. State. I can't do it. I'm not doing it. I'm Cal not taking Poly, Portland State. I'm, I'm taking Cal Poly. I can't take them. Okay. I can't take Portland State. Give me the boys. Give me no. the best team in the FCS. <laughs> Give me Portland State. <laughs> Why? Oh, you feed it into gonna these people. It's going to be a people. defiant victory. Oh, you are going feed to into the monsters. That's By what you two do. scores. <laughs> you, oh, the best oh, team in the scores? country. The best oh, you're off country. your rocker. Northern Arizona, oh, Idaho. You, you are a madman, <laughs> Northern Arizona. Uh, I'm changing my mind on this one. Idaho. C cool. Idaho. Um, SIU, UNI. SIU. Yeah, I'm going to take SIU also. I don't want to overthink that one. Um, 
All right, good note to wrap us up on, which is me having to panic <laughs> and figure out why I have a, a notice for a delinquent parking ticket that I paid. You know uh, what? LA continues to be absolute <laughs> smut and garbage. Um, I have to panic like, too because my respected broadcast partner picked Portland State to win the game, and this is no hatred towards Portland State, but for the sanctity of the show and my you know relationship with Joe DeLeon and how we have conducted this show and uh, our partnership over the last six years. To, to take the bit joke team that is that has infiltrated the hack circles, I can't do it. I physically can't. Joe can. He has the ability to. Maybe he's a bigger man than me, so be it. Uh, but this was the FCS Football Podcast presented by the Believe Podcast Network. I'm going to let delinquent Joe DeLeon go deal Good with shit. his stuff. You can follow me on Twitter at Sanderson Radio and Joe on Twitter at Joe DeLeon. Follow Believe Podcasts uh, on Twitter. If you don't like our show, if you hate what you just heard, there's other shows on the network that are probably as good, if not better, than this show. Uh, also, you may be hearing our voices somewhere else, so keep your eyes peeled on our timelines for any updates on that. All right. Thanks, folks. We're praying for you. Enjoy the rest.